Hi there. Today on Brianna Designs, we are going to unbox brand new paint markers I just purchased from Amazon. I got them in two day shipping. So they're the Zayar paint markers. There are 32 in the pack and they are extra fine point. These are water-based acrylic paint pens and on the back, it explains the colors. So you can have everything from black to bright blue, orange, wine red, pastel colors, including yellow, pink, all of these listed here, as well as metallic colors like gold and bronze. So the side of the box explains what type of surfaces you can use these paint pens on. You can use it on stones, glass, leather, although that's a picture of Christmas ornaments, and wood. So I purchased these because they had really good reviews and they were also on sale. There was a lightning deal, so I knew I had to grab them. 32 colors is a big deal. And if you know anything about paint markers, they can be a bit pricey. So let's go ahead and open these up and see how they look. So they come in this really nice carrying case. It's not just regular cardboard. It has a really nice finish. So on top we have the instructions, which explains exactly how you should prepare them before use. So they are valve action markers, which means you have to shake them for approximately 20 times with the cap pointed down. And then you open the cap, put the pen tip upward, and that's to let air out for a couple of seconds. You then press the pen point down, which makes the ink fill the tip of the pen. And then you begin writing on whichever surface you would like. And then at any time, if there's not enough ink on the tip of the pen, all you do is you write on scratch paper. And then once you're done using it, you close the cap tightly to make sure it doesn't dry out. And then they suggest that every single time that you use it, you shake it 20 times. So inside, we also have what looks like stencils that they have provided. Let's go ahead and open these up. We have a snowflake, a flower of some sort, and then two other flower-like designs. So these are really nice, something that you can use on your own. They are rather large though. So unless you have, for instance, if you wanna use a rock, you need a very, very large rock because this is the size of my hand. But maybe you can do this on another surface. So before I forget, this little baggie also came in the kit and at first I didn't know what it was until by accident I actually pulled off one of the tips of the markers because I was trying to clean it because I got dirt on it. And then I realized that the kit also gives you six replacement paint marker tips, which is awesome. Thankfully, I was able to put my paint tip really easily back into the cartridge, so that wasn't a problem and there was no damage, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Let's put those to the side and actually look at the paint markers now. I'm very excited about this. So right off the bat, I can see that they're actually smaller than I was expecting. So I have other paint markers. Now these are medium tip paint markers, so maybe that's why the cartridges are bigger. These are also oil-based, while the Zayar paint markers are actually water-based acrylic. The good thing about this size though, is it's easy to hold versus this, which is a little chunky and hard to get fine details with. So let's go ahead and open this up and check out the tip of the marker. So as you can see, I have not used this yet because the tip is white. We're gonna try to activate these valve action markers. So we're gonna follow the steps exactly as they suggest. Shake 20 times with the paint tip down. And then they say to open the cap and put the pen tip upward. Blank sketch pad, I'm gonna press down. All right, there we go, that worked. I wasn't expecting it to work that quickly, so well done. And then it says that I can write on any surface that I would like. I probably should have picked a better color other than yellow. <laughs> I'm hoping that shows up pretty good. It did leave an original larger spot of paint, I guess because we were activating it. So my suggestion would be to use another surface to activate it and then go to the sketch pad because there is some excess paint here that I could drag across the page. Right, but that worked. And it's actually, you can tell, it's, it's a very vibrant color. The unfortunate part of this, unless I'm missing it, is that I can't find an actual color name on the marker. It's telling me, of course, the different aspects of the marker being water-based, extra fine point waterproof, which is really cool, writing on most surfaces, but I don't see a color. I don't think it's written on the cap either. So that's a little unfortunate. When it's next to other markers, you can tell what color this is. Funny part is, I'm, I'm not sure if this is one of the metallics or one of the pastel yellows. So until I become more familiar with the paint markers, I'm just gonna have to use this color key that they've provided on the back. There are only two yellow markers, so the pastel yellow and the regular yellow, the basic yellow as they call it. So just by that, I can see from the top of the box that this is the basic yellow and this is the pastel yellow. So let's go ahead and try out some of these markers. I'm gonna select a different one so you can see the thickness of the point. 
So here I have the green. I'm not sure if this is the olive green or just your quote unquote basic green, but let's go ahead and activate this and we're going to show the size of this mark. This is me using the tip sideways. This is me just writing regularly with the tip down. So if I start off, see if I can make it wider. Make sure you clip that closed well. And just so you have a point of reference, I'm going to grab one of the medium tip paint markers from another brand. This tip obviously is much larger. And actually as I open this, I don't know if it's because it's oil based, but it has a much more pungent smell. I didn't even realize actually with the other markers that I was using a paint marker. Let's see if I do medium tip, tip down. Oof, it smells really strong. I don't know how long I would actually be able to use this. So medium tip obvious difference between the extra fine that Zayar provides. And I know I have a metallic gold just like this in the Zayar kit, so let me go ahead and color so we can get a color difference. The other brand has nice coverage, it's easy to color, and you can see it has a really nice shimmer. Let's check the Zayar. Just so you have an idea, here are the metallic colors that come with the 32 paint marker kit for Zayar. And you can tell it's metallic because the paint marker tips themselves are metallic in color. However, I will say that I am not sure, once again, the exact colors because let's look at the difference. Maybe in video it comes up a little bit better. But to me, this can actually come off as gold. If you see, this is the gold, the metallic gold. But I believe this is actually light brown. So we're going to try the metallic gold and see how it stands up to the other brand's medium point paint marker. I will say already, this is much more metallic than the other one. A lighter color, gold, but much more metallic, more of a shimmer. See that there's some spotting here, so maybe I need a little bit more. So let's go ahead and prime this one more time. Let me put the pen point down. Oh, I definitely have, <laughs> I definitely have paint now. Wow, that's a beautiful color. That's really nice. So let's see how long it holds on to its color. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any spotting here or any stops in ink. All right, so I don't know if that's just because my hand stopped putting pressure because I went across the page. So let me try doing it this way. Yeah, that, that can go on and on and on and on. Let me see if I lose any paint when I'm using different patterns. All right, so I'm losing a little bit there. And I'm wondering if I just need to get more paint back into this tip. So let's press down. Got a lot of paint again. I have to learn how to use this better because I don't want to be wasting paint. So let's try this again. You can see that it's much thicker and it holds on longer. Although I am concerned about the longevity of these because they have a small cartridge, they are high quality in the colors that they offer, and they're also long lasting in the sense that I was able to draw throughout and I didn't get any patches in the paint. So that's awesome. I also like that, of course, with any tip marker, you can change the angle of the pen and you are able to get a thicker line. We're gonna go ahead and check to see if this bled through. So this is just basic sketch paper. The only thing that bled through here is the puddle that formed when I primed the paint marker. And then you can see that the other brand's marker didn't bleed through, but you can definitely see it through the paper more than you can see Zayar's paint markers. Now that I've flipped this page over, I'm gonna take one of the stencils and I'm gonna use it and see how it works. So what I suggest doing to avoid getting excess paint marks when you're first priming your paint markers, instead of just holding it down the entire time, go ahead, press and then release, and then press and then release, and then you'll know right away when you get enough paint. So let's try to use this stencil here. It's just a, a thin stencil, but it's a cool design. So we're just gonna use one part to see how it comes out because I'm far away from the actual stencil. Can't really see what I'm doing. I keep missing drawing on the actual plastic. So let's see how that looks. As long as you can use a stencil properly and not draw on it instead, you'll be good to go. So the smaller parts of the stencil are definitely hard to paint in because even though this is fine tip, I'm struggling with getting some of these small spots. Let's see, that looks pretty neat. I'm also trying this on a rock as you can see here. Not too bad. All right, so all I'm gonna do is use a damp paper towel and see if I'm able to remove this easily. I'm scrubbing this pretty hard. You wanna be careful with these smaller pieces, but I've been scrubbing hard on them too and they haven't broken yet. Right, just like new. So I went back and got that same green as before. I'm not going to prime it. I'm gonna see how much I can get out of it just by using what I left off with before because I don't wanna to have to prime these or reactivate them every single time that I switch from one marker to another. I'm okay with priming these again if I have to spend weeks working on another project, but let's see how this goes. 
So I have a pretty small rock here and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little design on it. Although there are indentations on the rock, I actually have quite a bit of control here. I have not had to restart this paint marker at all yet. And we're gonna see also how vibrant these colors are with one coat. So here's my little turtle, came out pretty well. You will see that the paint is still drying. I'm going to use another marker to shade in to see how much it covers the brown from the rock. You know what, I didn't check if my other colors have dried, so I don't know what's about to happen here. So I'm actually gonna color over the lines I've drawn in the shell. Should have done that after this anyway. I'm gonna wait for this to dry to see if that lighter green covers the darker green that I used previously on the shell. I'm really surprised about how quickly this dried. It's only been about two minutes, and I don't know if it's because of how porous the rock is, but this is completely dry, and as you can see, the darker green is not peeking through the second layer of green that I added that is lighter. So that's a really good sign that you don't have to worry about if you mess up. Let's go ahead and add back those lines and see how it looks. Awesome. So I painted another rock earlier with basic acrylic paint because I don't want to waste my markers. So this is regular acrylic paint and then you can actually see I outlined everything in black. So I was able to form this outline by using this Zayar paint marker and you can see I had a lot of control. There are some small details here. I also added some details in the whipped cream. Um, any inconsistencies were because of me because the rock I did not sand it down. This is not a smooth surface but I was able to have a lot of control with this marker and the fine tip that is provided by this marker. So I like the case that they came in. It's nicer than just a regular cardboard. However, I will say that while this may be good for some of you for storage, I don't really like it because if I wanna get to one of these bottom markers, after I've put the other paint markers back in, I have to take all of the markers out to access something at a lower level. Obviously, there doesn't have to provide a carrying case for these. It's nice for what it is. It is compact, which is really neat, and it has its lid and a nice sleeve, so it's good for travel if you're bringing them elsewhere. But other than that, I don't really like the case itself, and I'll probably end up moving it to a carrying case of some sort. I don't know if this is just me. I somehow have one more marker left and not enough space to put it in. So there must be a level in here that I have one less marker and it's not seated properly. So if you're using this as your final case to hold these paint markers, you definitely wanna make sure how you're placing them back into the case. Otherwise, you're gonna have one lonely paint marker who doesn't have a home. So I'm really glad I purchased the 32 paint marker kit from Zayar. I know 32 two markers seems like a lot. They've selected these colors so well. They have the basic colors, the pastel colors, and the metallic colors, and I really don't think there's any color that I feel like is missing from the kit, so I can use this on a variety of projects, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to using these, actually, in my next video for rock painting, and then I'm also going to be trying this on glass and painting a keepsake. Thank you so much for watching this paint marker unboxing video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future art, crafts, and DIY projects. Keep an eye out for my next video where I finally get to paint rocks with these markers. Bye!